Praise the Lord. God is good and gracious. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. We're looking at the book of Psalm 139, and we read verse number 7 to verse 10. The Bible says, Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in show, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Just to remind ourselves that the psalmist is helping us to see that our God is God who is in charge of everything, including our very lives. And we cannot run away from him by any means. We cannot hide. Even when we look at the book of Genesis where God you know, appears to Adam and Eve and he's asking them, where are you? He's calling Adam and he's asking him, where are you? Know that God could not tell where they were, but he wanted the commitment or the, you know, that confession that this is where I am. The psalmist here helps us to see that once again, as we said yesterday, that our God is uh, omniscient and omnipresent. We cannot hide anything from God. We cannot even run away from his presence. The psalmist says that if I ascend to the heaven, you are there. See, if I also dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there, you are there. And even your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me wherever I'll be. I want us to look at this uh, portion of scripture in two ways. First, there are times when we feel as though we are so far away, nobody knows, nobody can understand the circumstances, the situation that we are facing. Nobody can tell. And we feel like we are so withdrawn far away from every familiar person. There is one who is always together with us and always present, even in that far end. And this is God. Secondly, we look at the presence of God with us at all times, that even in that situation, his hand, as the psalmist says, even there, your hand shall lead me. Even where you are right now, what you're going through right now, the hand of God will lead you. And secondly, or what he says in verse number 10, and your right hand shall hold me. Two very important things, that your hand will lead me, and your right hand shall hold me, leading for you to find the way. Remember, we said previously that he even knows our ways. He has also searched out our path. So it is his hand that leads us. And in this path, because there is a lot that we encounter, we need the sustenance of God. It is his hand that holds us. It is his hand that sustains us. And no wonder in verse number 10, the psalmist says, even there, your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. We have God with us. Even when we feel like we are so far away, we are engulfed by, you know, difficult times and seasons, the Lord is there with us. His hand will lead us. In every circumstance and situation, his right hand will hold us. Release yourself to this all-knowing God and ever-present help. As we call upon him, he never fails. His hand will lead you his right hand will hold you. Keep strong, be well, 
and let us keep trusting in the Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.